Hi guys, today we will see a dispenser system and how we can uh, build a dispenser system using the PLC and uh, here if you can see here this is the conveyor and this is conveyor is controlled by a motor and here these are the sensors this is for L1 and this is for sensor 2, L2, L3, L4 and L5 and this is the corresponding product that is uh, so it's all node valve a this corresponding valve for product a this product for, for product b and for product c this is the uh, selection button if you choose uh, this uh, uh, a button then so all this uh, corresponding product will be delivered and like that uh, product b and for product c and this is how this working is will sh show you first once of all we want to power on it then we have to uh, choose the which product it is that is a b or c if we choose uh, a and after that once you press start then uh, once if a bolt is detected at uh, sensor l1 then it is the conveyor will start so we will move the bottle to here see now the bottle is detected in sensor 1 and uh, it was started moving and we select a switch A that means sole node A and here once it reaches L2 for sole node A for product A it will stop the conveyor will stop and this sole node valve will be open for uh, a predefined time and after that it will it will the sole node valve will turn get off and again the product this conveyor will start moving as you can see that and once it reaches the sensor L5, the conveyor again it will get uh, it will get turned off. This is how the project it is, and we'll see how we'll make it using the PLC and this HMI. So this is an indication of the position. So this is the indication of the position of the bottle. We will move the slider to, to quicker faster. You see once it reaches this L5 the uh, conveyor will get turned off. See. So how we will build using this uh, using the Siemens PLC and HMI. First of all, we will create a new project, and we will uh, first of all we add the add the device. We will add the CEO controller as uh, Siemens S7 1200 PLC. So we will add this PLC. So now the PLC is added and after we will add this HMI also we are using a comfort panel for because we are using the scripts and all so we will using the basic comfort panel this is TP100 panel So I will link the PLC and HMI here itself. So I have to choose here. So we need to select the PLC and we need to link the PLC to HMI now. That's both are linked now. Once if we look here in the devices and networks, see both are the connection HMI connection is, is link is there. 
so we will start programming the PLC now before that we are we are using we will turn on its uh, clock with memory bits so in the properties you can see the system and clock memory and we can use we, we need to use it that bit so we will enable it right now so we will use this 0.5 hertz clock for them 0.7 so we will use it later so first we will start the programming part we will open the main ob1 so first we will have to give the power button so we will open this uh, we will open the tax table so we'll make it uh, floating We'll give the power up button. We have to give its address because we use clock memory, so we will start from M1.0, then power off. Power up, okay. We'll start this power up button. And we will set uh, this using a, a start flip flop and we will use this uh, as an input we will use this power off button to reset that flip flop and we will use this power off powered up this is a common bit so we will use power ok so this is the power up condition so next we have to use the this bit as the once it is started we have to use this bit so first we will use this power up button so then we have to use the start push button then stop push button start push button stop push button then we have to use the motor meaning this in for the conveyor then we have to call the sensors l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 sensors are done so then we have to use the solar value so v underscore a so v underscore v so v underscore c okay so once we start power up button is pressed then then we have to start button we have to use a start button when start button is used and uh, we'll use this for conveyor for this we have to get up for output for motor this is motor then when power button is there start push button is there and what is the condition for that one is if l1 sends this switch is there if uh, sensor l1 is detected this should be l1 the conveyor should start running the conveyor should start running so and for conveyor should start running for with these uh, switches okay we have not select added the selected switches that is switch a switch b and switch c so we will add the switch switch a we added and we have to parallel make one more branches that is switch A or switch B or switch C any of the switch button is pressed means the conveyor should start 
so one power you'll start power button then start push button is press then uh, uh sensor board is detected in press sensor l1 then if any switch is pressed then the motor should on or what other condition l1 or uh, we have to use um, if the if it is moving for after l1 this if the sensor 5 is not the l5 is not detected then also the motor should move on so we will add one nc here and this uh, should be l5 we should have to connect it here so l1 or l5 the motor should on and when the motor should not run if it is uh, if sov a b or c is uh, on then it should not on so right sov a sov b so we see so door motion button is there when powered up start button is there l1 is detected switch a or switch b or switch c is uh, pressed then motor should or turn on and it will run okay so here if you see here if, if it if it is there if l1 is not detected then also the motor will run so for that if it should go after this l1 if l1 is detected then only uh, uh, this trunk should get active so we have to use here one bit so here we will use let's have a port and so we will start right as uh, process Started. So after the process started, then only that trunk should be active. Else, what happened? If it is uh, the switch L1 is not detected, then also the L5 is L5 will be off turned. L5 will be mostly turned off condition. So this will go and the convoy will start without detecting the L1 also. So this trunk should be active only after the process started. So once in the uh, this set condition is set, this will set this flip flop and at what condition it should be turned off we have to once it reaches the l5 then we have to turn off the situation so we'll use this uh, switch l5 here one until l5 this should be active we have to connect it here all right so g and g is on this motor it should be on Alright, so next we have to program for solenoid A, B, and C. Okay, for that, um, SOVA for the SOVA first, um, we'll use power up. Power up should be there, SOVA should be switch A should be active. Okay, this is a uh, power up button. This is SOV. No, this is switch. Yes, okay, start button. This is switch. Yeah, okay. When switch A is active, means what we have to get the output SOVA. SOVA should be active for a predefined time okay when power up button is there start push button is there switch a is there and here it should be that sensor should be active else it should not active this sensor l2 l2 should be active then it should be running so so yeah then we have to make a timer here so we'll use this box here and we'll use t on on delay timer this is for a t and for a sorry this is for timer a and here we will put five seconds so t hash five seconds okay so at what time it should be turned off after this five seconds this owner should be turned off so we will give an nc here and t um, okay so similarly we have to write the logic for B and C. Control C B so B. So here 
so I think this sensor should be L3 and the switch, uh, switch should be switch B and here it should be SOVB this timer should be SOVB timer B ok and fine this should be alright so this SOVB should be start button L sensor uh, L3 should be active switch B should be active then SOVB is there ok ok then it should be so we see so for this also we have to copy paste so it should be l2 l3 l4 it should be l4 this should be switch c should be active this should be so we see this should be so we see we see okay now here it should come so our logic part is finished hopefully then we have to we have to do the HMI part now and where so if any we'll do the troubleshooting later so we'll open our HMI section so here we will open the HMI section and then we we'll close this and we'll close this so so first of all we have to make a con conveyor and here uh, ok I am not open doing some ok I will add this is some water so after that we have to add some sensors here This is L1, this is L2, this is L3, L4, L5, L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5. Okay. So, this is uh, we have done the sensor part, then we have to add the solenoids. Solar node is solar node valve A, B, and C. We will text it as here is a motor. So here we have to add L1. This is L4 and here this is L5. This is uh, SOV A, SOV B, this is SOV C. So this is the solenoid part is finished so next is the um, push button so we will add some push button here this is power up push button power push button this is the power of start and stop it's 
Chat and stop. Okay, we have forgot to add the stop push button, I think. Alright. Okay, hi, no issue. We set the beta is on the beta. Okay. Then we have to add the switches. That is switch A, B, and C switch. Okay, we'll rename this switch. Oops, we can have option to remove here. Where is that remove option? It's general, okay. That is switch. Yeah. So, see all right. So we added that switch condition here. Then we have to point this to our tags. So for that, I will change these events. Switch on. Set. Set bit. Switch off. This is a bit all right. Fine. Switch on, switch off this way, okay. And here we have to set this. So, the events animation, appearance, how it should be. Zero and it should be one. Zero should be third. And if it is active, it should be green. Okay, yes, I can mention it. In. So this is finished. This power up button. This power up. This. This is it. Power up in this it should be reset actually to use a beat no, actually how it was. I need to check the logic. Power up button is set. No, no, it's actually power off. Power off should be set. That's okay. Wait. In this chart push button, uh, we have to set bit. Stop push button, we have to okay. So this is almost finished this part, this motor we have to add the tags. So animation okay appearance okay fine. The appearance that should go to okay. So it should go to here motor. Okay, then this should go to L1. Okay, this should go to L2. This should go to L3. This should go to L4. This should go to L5. And here it should go to So 
will be in this will be this will be C. okay all right fine then next we have to animate this actually here we have to add one bottle here so here we have to add one bottle so this is the bottle and we have to animate that so even animation and new animation oops not appearance you have to go to moments the moments so we have to go to horizontal moment all right fine and this should go up to here okay that should go up to here mm -hmm. so we have to add one tag this one is my tags at no this tag is position this position okay fine so this is up to here all right then we have to put one slider for our uh, temporary purpose so this tags is actually tag connection and the animation should be comes to process value and this tag tag should be position okay so next we have to make the script to animate that one so in that before that we have to go to scripts and we these scripts and we this function and here okay this uh, okay for that first we will animate the position okay so we'll use if uh, if statement if uh, we have to add this tag here okay if position position equal to uh, if position equal to something we will put zero then then what we have to do since uh, then When smart tag L1 is equal to true, else smart should be false. And if this is for actually. Okay, so we will copy this control V. Control V, we have to repair this for L2. And here, not sure it will work. Oops. to add for L3 and we'll see this we have to add for L3 so if it should be work then it should be L3 and we have to add for L4 L4 this should be L4 this should be L4 then L5 this should be L5 this should be L5 this should be L5 okay we have to go for the same text to get to you all right fine so we will then we will do one thing with this. We will stimulate this one. Simulate. So then start. Let's see any issues are there. Oops, this error error error. Okay. 
okay we are not added this one okay switch on this one should be mm. this is the center okay switch a okay this switch laser should be switch a then it should be switch b it should be switch b okay switch b for this for switch c and it should be switch c switch c okay fine then what is the other error? Oh, that's fine. Then we will go to our online and we'll go to single start simulation. Okay, it's so moving fine. Okay. So here we will write the box scripts here. So for where at what condition this L1 should be active. This uh, L1 should be active on this condition. So this is 15, position number 15. So position number 15, L1 should be active, then L2. L2 should be active at uh, 36. Should be active at 36. This L3 at what condition L3 should be active? 58. L3 should be active at 58. Then L4. L4 should be active at 81. So we mentioned 81 here. Then L5 should be active at 100 because we can see here should be active at 100. Okay. So this should be active at 100. All right, fine. So next next step is actually uh, okay. The next step is this motor is running means. So automatically we need to increment the motor that uh, step actually for that uh, if this motor is not active motor is equal to true then then what we need to run then smart pack position Position equals position plus one. Then then if right fine. Okay, so it is fine now. We say project and one one we have to do one thing. When this should run, we have to plan one more thing. At what point this uh, this should run? So that for that, yeah. Sorry, I took some short break. Actually, okay, we will continue now. And now it's uh, all right, fine, good. Then we'll start it now. Then we'll download to PLC. So we'll close this simulation. Next, we have to activate that uh, the script actually. For that, we have to use this uh, m0 HMI tags. We have to add the contact table. Mm, that is actually Yeah, 
have to define the tag actually plc tag tag table point five heads all right fine then I have, to, I have to select that our uh, VP function. V function, all right. So, project. Now we will download our project to our PLC. Download will be here. Can we change this? Start search. Stone pole load. All is done. Now we will go and download. We will monitor now. You see main button. We will turn on the monitoring. And then we have to let simulation start. We see start simulating the HMI. All right, fine, good. Okay, this is motor. We have everything here. So first of all, we have to we'll see that first of all, we will power up yeah we have done the power up so this bit is okay then we have to press the start uh, we have to choose the switches so we will choose now solenoid value a solenoid value a is high yeah this is high then this l1 or l5 need to be get active okay so we have done one mistake so we have to without this l1 also this rung will active so we have to give an NC here because after the process started then only the trunk should be active okay. ok fine then uh, switch one is active then we press the start push button ok so here we have to move this L1 is not active so we will move the L1 our script is not running What happened to our script actually? So we will open our script once again. This may be the fifty. Right now, we will come back and start again.
so we will uh, we will simulate our plc we will simulate our hmi in online simulation start so we will test now why are this Even it's not pretty active. We'll check whether our the script will uh, we'll put this is our clock. So we'll see whether the clock is running animation and animation. Appearance. This is clock. One five hertz. It should be green. It should be red. Same. Should start. Yeah, our clock is running now. We will see this. Okay, now it's getting active. All right. So we will do once again the test. So first, we will see where is the main tab. So power of power is not enough there. So we have done a mistake here. You see, both are active now because this uh, we are not done reset actually for us. So for that, for that row screen power. <coughs> Reset bit. Okay, this power is okay. Power off. So this both are okay now. We will power up once. Okay, now this is healthy, powered up. So we can see power up is active. No, 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 no. Now we have to see here not powered up, powered up. Okay. Mistakes, mistakes. So I am studying now. So okay, fine. Okay, power, power of all right. So 
we'll do power up now okay fine this power up is okay then we have to choose a switch actually here where a switch switch a b and c so here we will activate switch we will activate switch b okay we will activate switch b okay switch b is active then we will press start button all right fine here is start yeah start is active now then 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 l1 or l5 l1 l1 should be active so l1 because now it's not there so it once it detect the presence of the bottle then it will start okay so it should be in 15th position it should get active yeah l1 is active yeah it started moving now the motor and we have chosen switch b so at switch sov b when l3 is active then uh, this motor will be off then solenoid valve b will be active so we'll wait for it so l3 wait for l3 All right, this motor is off. This solenoid valve B is active. See, solenoid valve B is active. Yeah, stand off. Again, the motor is active. It's one where is running, and it will the motor is off when it reaches L5. You can see here we added that wrong. Okay, see. Because of this, it is running now, and once L5 is active, this motor is get off. It will get L5 will be active at 100. Okay, the L5 is active, the motor is off. You can see the motor is off because of this. L5 is uh, because of this rung, it is not active. So now we can stop it. Stop. This is resetted now. We can run the switch. Nothing will happen. We can power off. Yeah, everything is turned off. So, hope you understand this program and this logic. Hope you get idea on this program and this uh, logic. Thanks for watching.